Morning everybody. Hope you're all well. Alright. It's not hottest day today, but it's, it's alright. Video this morning because I've seen it flashing around on uh, YouTube and stuff like that. It's the thing out with government called for evidence regarding these old cars. Now I've heard a few snippets and no doubt a few more is gonna get on it. Um uh, I mean, I think I saw Andy, the big cabby or whatever he was said, mentioned something like that. I've seen another chap, I think he's obviously up uh, top end of England. So he mentioned something. But I've had a quick peep at it, and uh, end of the day it will affect job because it's obviously, I mean, they're, they're obviously going to want to like, shut a few doors. That's the top and bottom of it. And that, I mean, I'm 100% gone through it. When I'm 100% gone through it, uh, I've done, gone through every paragraph, a few scribbled, a few notes down. I'll read it through, it might take a week or two to get to digest it right, and then I'll come back to you again with another video. But it's just regarding, I think, modified cars. Now, they're, they're all getting like referring to structures and stuff like that. And uh, I think when they're referring to structures of cars, I mean, somebody mentioned if you change like a you know, two foot of chassis in your car, that you are. Um, it were going to end up on a Q plate. Now, that I think that's just nonsense. Well, it's nonsense from me anyway, because I can replace I can replace the six footer chassis in this car. And I can't tell it's been replaced. So that's simple as we are. I mean, like this is a fifty four Ford Anglia. I mean, some of these small holes you can see here, the patches we were corroded even down here at corners. I mean, it's not another bad shell at all. But obviously, this corrosion. Now, when I've done that, you're not going to notice like this wing here, all that lip has been renewed well nobody's going to tell me that that's been renewed because they won't be able to tell it's a simple ass so i mean that's where i stand with this i mean end of day i, I suppose i could make a perfect forgery because i can put them right and put them right correctly now so as far as if you've changed well it depends how picky i suppose wherever it ends up or what it has to be done but if you shoved a great plaster on top of like a chassis section or modified it well it's going to see some that's been improved now if they're going to class that as a um, I class it as a repair, but if they class it as like an improvement or a modification, well, you're going to lose some points. But I think what they're adding in this structural thing is, if you've got like, I don't know, let's say an 100E, we, uh, I don't know, you've put a Z-Tech in it, I mean, I've seen plenty with Z-Techs in, then you've got four downdrafts in it, uh, throttle bodies, you know, you've injected it, you've done, when you made an all new uh, cross member for front, you've changed it so it's on different suspension, it's on a rack, not a box, well, you're going to get a million points on your check out. I mean, what everybody seems to be forgetting is like, I mean, costs of this country to run are getting phenomenal, because there's just that many things pulling off it, that the government's going to want every ounce of revenue they can now. If they're going to kick you off a free taxation class, well, so be it, because they want money, you know, and then that's what they'll do. But like I've said, I haven't 100% read through everything about it, but I are translated. You've got a standard car, and you've done some repairs, and they're done correctly. I can't see an issue, because I can't see the argument, and to be honest, and I can't see where they've got the specialists who are going to, like, implement it, because they don't know the cars. They'll be too young, you know, they won't, I mean, they'll be able to come, they, they, if they got challenged by somebody like me, I could probably ta put a time in knots, you know, because they won't they won't have a clue what they were talking about, I could tell them from thread to needle, from models made to what they had to what they did to change this year, they changed that, so it's going to be a very difficult thing for them to police, but it won't be difficult for them to police if you've like stuck a, well, example that I think is you've got a, 1300 GTXL Capri. It's absolutely immaculate. Belonged to some chap. He's had it all his life. He's got past driving or passed away, and it's gone up for sale. I mean, I see it on ones up at Matheson's, and they're not bad. They're, they're lovely cars, but every full of the face because they've got a 1300. They go all right. They go. They go fine. And then somebody plonks a three liter in it. Well, that's a massive modification. You know, I mean, all right, it's a three liter Capri now, and it only needs a few bits on structure to beef it up like a three litre, there wasn't that much difference, you know, so you, you can do that. But what I'm saying is with that, you're going to get caught out. Because, I mean, it's going to go on to, it's going to, obviously you're going to have to tell them it's a three litre, well it's a modification, they're going to be on you. You're going to lose your exemption. But another thing is, cats meowing now, you've had your dinner, you all go on. And, um, anyhow, so, think, I mean, these are where issues lie. 
like I say, you put a Z-Tech in, then the, the, the altered back end, the altered, the practically modified cars, they're, um, so T, they're coming in, eh? Or not, we do it. See you later. Good up. And, um, sorry about that, but she, she's had a dinner, but just in one of her meowing moods, but, uh, but that's, that's where it is. I mean, I'm going to read through every paragraph and everything. I mean, the, the same call for every... I mean, I will, I will fill this in because I have my own... Well, because I do, I do stuff regarding these for, um, for YouTube. I mean, I will go through it and I will respond. And I'll respond in a professional manner um, of what I think. Because um, I don't 100% know. I ain't gone into it right. How you respond, how you do it, all that. It's all link, link, link. Which all these links... I mean, I went and put a link in the description because I don't know how to put a link in the description. So it's simple as that. But no matter where I started, we it all. I mean, I think if you've got a standard car you're not going to have any problems. You're going to be exempt, tax, and MOT. I mean, I still don't think MOT exemption is another good thing. I think they should have some sort of test. Or oh, this might be a drift into that road. They might put a voluntary test on, which then they, the, the, the test station makes the decision. Now, it's how professional you've done it, and it's how much the guy knows. But I don't think you're going to stand a chance if you've got a different front cross member, and you've got a Z-Tech in, and that from a newer car. Because they're going to come down on you. Because... They need the revenue, and that's it, so... I mean, top and bottom of it, it's simple, I mean, well... If you sat at light, in your, I don't know, like I said, a Z-Tech 100 here somewhere, and then you get a great yank, a, I don't know, like that Lincoln, I've got 69 Continental pulls up beside you, well, Continental's going to get the biggest run for your money you've ever had of traffic lights anyway, because it's a quick car, but it's a bog-standard car, and it's going to keep its exemption... It's going to keep everything that goes we have in the classic car because it's not modified, you know. I mean, you might have put a different fuel pump on it because the mechanical one, probably they're all no good now, they're made in China, so you put an electric one on, which you can tell me. They're not going to pull you on a fuel pump because it can't work without a fuel pump, you know. I mean, I'll go through every paragraph, like I've said, but so if I had to think about, I'm just trying to clear a few points up because it's already flashing around as most horror story. Well, well, I think it probably is going to be a bit of an horror story for modified cars, but... I think standard cars, well, like I said earlier regarding this car, you're not going to tell, because you won't be able to tell what happened, eh? So, nobody's going to come along and say, oh, that's been uh, improved. It hasn't been improved, it's been repaired, but repaired properly. And there's a big difference, so... Give it a like, you like video. Subscribe to the channel, you want to hear more, because some people might want to hear more of this, and when I've gone through it all, there will be more. And uh, take care, everybody, and ask, ask them in comments if you want to know, and I'll come back to you. Thanks a lot. Bye now.